Hey guys, Newblood here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to find the right color values for pattern files. And the example I'm using is a Spiderman pattern that I made a while ago. And the first thing you want to do is make sure the, the file you're working with is in CMYK. And the way to make sure it is in CMYK mode is go to Image, Mode, CMYK. Now in terms of finding the right colors, Basically what I've done is I went to Google, searched CMYK, and then, you know, the different colors I want to use, which in this example I'm going to use red, and I looked through one of these links to find the right red that I felt was the right one. Now I bookmarked the um, red that I normally use, and when you search for a CMYK value, you want numbers. If you just get an image, don't use it. You want the actual numbers because um, there's a way we can input these numbers into Photoshop to give the exact color. And the way to do that is, for, like, for example, this red, you go to here, double-click that, and you can see the CMYK values. And I have already added the numbers, but basically you put, like for red, cyan is 0, magenta is 99, yellow is 100, and black is 0. And when you put those numbers in, you get the exact color. Now, say for example, you, you know, use the various colors, and then, like, you know, say for example, your CMYK value for red disappears along here. Um, I wouldn't recommend using the eyedropper tool because you could have layers on top of the image, um, like you know various blacks and stuff, and it could slightly alter the image. So you, what you want to do is once you find the color online, is to bookmark it, or like write down the value somewhere. So that way, once it did, like if you can't find it, you could just double click this and then re enter the values. Cyan, at least for red, cyan is 0, magenta 99, yellow is 100, and um, black is 0. And there you go. So, you know, and this applies to any color that you want to achieve. And there's various sites where it can, like, list off, like, various shades of green, reds, blues, and you see which ones that, you know, fit your needs. And most likely it'll come out okay once you print it. And that's what I've done. And the patterns that, you know, from at least from the reds I've used, um, at least this particular red, um, the pattern came out fine. So yeah, um, hope this video helped you figure out how to, you know, find and apply color values in Photoshop for pattern files. Um, I'll catch you guys later, and peace!